This is Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning for me. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Fahashim Yahweh Shai, Fahashim Yahweh Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect. So I'm going to read this again. This is Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. And that's who we are. We're the watchmen. We're watching for, you know, the prophecies, you know, to come to pass. And we are supposed to warn you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans about, you know, this impending doom. It says, therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. And we warning you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, we've been warning you. We're getting first and foremost with the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Okay, all hell is getting ready to break loose. Okay, you're getting ready to catch pure hell out here, man. And the reason why this hell is getting ready to overtake you is for your disobedience against your Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You ignoring the prophets of the Heavenly Father. You refusing to hearken to his word. So the Most High got major judgments in store for you, man. Now, what you see on the screen, okay, is, you know, uh, a map of, you know, all or the majority of them. Okay, because this is still an ongoing thing. Okay, these are food processing plants around the world that have been destroyed. And we already know what's going on and who's behind this. Okay, it's the elites, but really it's Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, why? Because the Most High is getting ready to bring major judgment, mainly on you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Because you have a special relationship with the Heavenly Father, and the Most High has been calling out to you for the longest, and you have refused to hearken to his words. You have no intentions on hearkening to the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So now the Most High is fed up, and we're in a time of you being judged, man. Now, what's, what's going to take place, you know, after all these, uh, or what's going to be the result of these uh, different food processing plants being destroyed? You're going you gonna to starve out here, man. The price of food, especially the food you niggas love to eat, frozen foods, you know, uh, 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 TV dinners, okay? Food that has already been made because the majority of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, number one, you like eating BS you don't know how to cook and you like things quick, fast and in a hurry. OK, so the food, the favorite, your favorite foods, the price is going to skyrocket. And in and, and, and a lot of cases, it's not even going to be on the shelf. OK, which means what you about to catch pure hell. You're going to starve out here, man. And we've been telling you that these things are getting ready to take place. But Jake being Jake, Jake ignores the warnings of the prophets, man. This is Jeremiah 30 and 7. It says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And these are the times that we're coming into. When you look this word trouble up, the definition is distress or anguish. And that's what's coming upon you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. A, a very hardcore state of distress is getting ready to overtake you, man. And again, the reason why these things are getting ready to happen to you is because of your disobedience. We've been telling you not to do certain things through the spirit and power. You how about show me how we shy. You say the hell what we talking about. OK, the only thing you niggas want to do is bullshit and party. Well, guess what? You how about show me how we shy getting ready to shut your party down, man. OK, and <laughs> one of the things you need to have a party is food. The Lord is getting ready to take your food away from you, man. He getting ready to starve you out. And that's just one of the troubles that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has prepared for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Now it says, uh, you know, at the end of the verse, but he shall be saved out of it. That's talking about the individuals that have taken heed to the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's not talking about the rest of you, you know, average Israelites out here, man. You, you average Jakes, you, you two-third Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. I ain't talking about you, man. You ones that like drinking lean, you like smoking blunts. OK, you like you like killing 40 ounces. Yo, your favorite thing to do is to go to the party and, and get up on another uh, uh, man's woman. You ain't going to be safe, man. You go. You're going to starve to death out here. And that's literally the intentions of your how about show how shot. The reason why he's going to do this is because he wants to starve you to death, man. And you out here playing games with the Heavenly Father, taking his word as a joke, man. The most I ain't playing with you. 
This is uh, Ezekiel 14 and 12. Or still like a 14 and 13. It says, Son of man, when the land sinneth against me by trespassing grievously, okay, and this land has trespassed grievously against Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, the Most High gonna jack you up, man. You have taken the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai lightly, okay? You see us out there on the highways and hedges, and you think it's a game. Oh, look at these crazy niggas standing on the corner screaming. You know, they reading the Bible. That's, that's, that's the white man's book. That's a fairy tale book. Well, you, you getting ready to see whether it's a fairy tale or not, man. It says, Son of man, when the land sinneth against me by trespassing grievously, okay? It says, Then will I stretch out my hand upon it and will break the staff of bread thereof. And what's the staff of bread? Basically, you know, uh, the flow of food, okay? So, you know, the crops are going to be destroyed. You Basically, you're not going to be able to eat, okay? That, 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 that staple of food that you have okay to where you can go pretty much anywhere and get food the most high gonna shut that down it says and will send famine upon it and will cut off man and beast from it see so the most high is not sending this famine you know to uh chastise you and the most high is not sending this famine in the hopes that you you gonna turn from your wickedness or maybe maybe they'll get it you know if i if i stop uh giving them food no the most high wants you to he wants to destroy you he, he literally wants to see you starve to death, man. That's how pissed off Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is with you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You have thoroughly pissed off Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Now we're in a time where the Most High is going to bring the famine. You see what's going on, okay? There's a reason why all these food processing plants are burning down, okay? Because, you know, what the elites plan on doing is to put you in a precarious uh, situation so you can accept the haragma. But really, it's Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai doing it. And we're reading uh, the judgment that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has pronounced. This is really the Heavenly Father's program. This is uh, Ezekiel 4 and 16. It says, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem. Okay, now this actually happened in the land of Jerusalem. Okay, but Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. So amongst you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to shut down the food supply, man. Okay? Just like he did in the ancient time. It says, and they shall eat bread by weight and with care. Okay? Now, you, you know how, how abundant bread is. The most high say it's going to get so bad that you're going to have to measure it out before you eat. Basically, you're going to ration it, man. Okay? So, you're going to eat it, you're going to eat it by weight and with care. You, you're, going, you're going to eat it carefully, man, because you're not going to know where your next meal is coming from okay see the, a, a nigga today he'll 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 stuff his face man he'll go to mcdonald's he'll buy you know a number two meal you know he'll buy a number three meal at the same time and then a few hours later he'll go back to the same place he'll go to a different restaurant okay and order a whole bunch of food then later on that day he gonna eat some more man okay jake has no care for food uh, uh, as it stands right now, but Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is gonna make food so scarce that you're gonna measure how much food you eat, man. It says, and they shall eat bread by weight and with care, and they shall drink water by measure and with astonishment. Okay, you know, how you niggas like to go get that, that big gulp from 7 Eleven, okay, or where you go to, uh, you know, these fast food restaurants and you get the biggest size soda, that's gonna be done away with, man. You you gonna you gonna measure how much water you drink. You gonna measure how much liquid you drink, man, because you gotta save it so you can survive the next day, okay? And as you know, the Most High increases this famine, the amount that you eat and the amount that you drink is gonna continually decrease until you don't have anything, man. It says, and they shall drink water by measure and with astonishment, that they may want bread and water and be astonished one with another and consume away for their iniquities. So the Lord is literally going to starve you to death for the iniquity that you have committed, man. And this is what's going on. Okay? That's the reason why all these food processing plants are getting burned down. Okay? Because really it's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai setting the stage to judge you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Although this is going to affect, you know, the whole of America. Okay? The main target of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You really pissed the Heavenly Father off, man. Here, here, here it is. The Most High is trying to have mercy on you. He's extending his hand out to you, telling you to come back to him. 
before the judgment comes, you saying to hell with you, man. You slapping the Heavenly Father's hand down. I don't know you, you know. So, hey, man, you got a lot of hell to look forward to. This is Ezekiel 5 and 13. It says, thus, thus shall my anger be accomplished, and I will cause my fury to rest upon them, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And I will be comforted, and they shall know that I, the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, I have spoken it in my zeal, when I have accomplished my fury in them. Moreover, I will make thee waste and a reproach among the nations that are round about thee in the sight of all that pass by. And this has happened already. That's why you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are in a, in a very low state. Okay? You, you, you're, you're a mockery amongst the nations out here, man. Your whole society is in complete disarray. And that's because you broke the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai. When, you know, the topic comes up of you, people laugh, man. Okay, you're not going to get anything accomplished. All right. When, when, when people discuss you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, you know, they, they, they don't uh, talk about you in a good light because they look at you and they see the state that you in, man. What can you accomplish in the state that you in? You, you ain't never going to get a leg up. You can't even come together. It says, so it shall be a reproach and a taunt and an instruction and an astonishment unto the nations that are round about thee. When I shall execute judgments in thee in anger and in fury and in furious rebukes. I, the Lord, Yahweh, Shai, have spoken it. Verse 16, when I shall send upon them evil arrows of famine, which shall be for their destruction. Okay, like I said earlier, man, the most I ain't doing this to try to get you to wake up, man. The most I ain't going to take your food away in the hopes that you get right. That you come to the realization that you're supposed to worship Yahweh, Shai, and reverence his ways. The Most High ain't doing this for that. He want to destroy you, man. He want to see your, your, your stomach touch your back, man. And then you give up the ghost. It says, when I shall send upon them evil arrows of famine, which shall be for their destruction, and which I will send to destroy you, and I will increase the famine upon you. Okay, so it's going to steadily increase, man. You're going to notice that your food supply is getting smaller and smaller. Okay. First, it's going to start out, you, you ain't going to be able to buy those, all those meals at the restaurants you like to go to, okay? Maybe you're going to start eating two, three, four times a week, you know, and then it's going, it's going to get reduced until you start weighing out the bread that you eat, man, okay? And you, you start drinking water with care. you only taking a, a, a little sip every few hours, man, okay? And even then, it's going to get worse and worse. All right. Why? Because just like we read, the Most High said he's doing this to destroy you. He ain't doing this to try to wake you up, man. That time is over. OK, now's the time to wake up. Now's the time to come back to you. How about show me how shy? It says, and I will increase the famine upon you and will break your staff of bread. So the Most High is going to stop the flow of food. OK, you already see uh, gas prices. You know. Those things are going through the roof, man, which is going to further exacerbate this, this situation. Okay, not only can the food not get to its destination because it's not being produced, the little that is being produced ain't even going to make it because the truckers going to stop, man. So it's going to get real bad out here for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right. Yet, even though we're telling you these things, you refuse to turn back to the Heavenly Father. So guess what? You're going to die in your sins. It says, so will I send upon you famine and evil beast. Okay, not only is famine going to come for you, but the Most High going to send wild animals on you niggas, man. Okay, wherever you at, whatever wild animal, whatever predator is in that area, that's what's coming for you, man. Hell, and even uh, animals that ain't predators. Okay, because some of these prey animals, they they deadly too. Okay, you got elks, uh, deer. They going to, they gonna, uh, uh, you know, run you through with their horns, man. Okay poisonous snakes all that's gonna get you so-called negroes latinos and native americans and when these things are happening you're gonna know and understand that you about shimmy how shy is doing it because this ain't something that happens on a regular you know a higher power has to be doing these things you starving to death and then a whole bunch of snakes is chasing you man okay you try to run from the snakes and then a, uh uh you know a cougar or something jump out of nowhere and and, and bite your ass up man you know these are the kind of things that you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans can expect to happen in the near future. It says, so will I send upon you famine and evil beast, and they shall bereave thee 
and pestilence and blood shall pass through thee, and I will bring the sword upon thee, I the Lord, Yahweh Yahweh Shai has spoken it. The most high ain't playing no games, man. And this is getting ready to go down. The most high tired of talking to you niggas. Okay, he's been talking to you for long enough. Now is judgment time. This is 2nd Ezra 16 and 17. It says, Woe is me. Woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? And this is what Ezra said when he seen the vision. Now, when we talk to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans about this, you start laughing. You make a joke out of it, man. But some real heavy time is getting ready to come down here. It says, Woe is me. Woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? Okay, how about Shemi Shai willing? The Most High has mercy upon us and we get delivered from these things that are coming down here upon the earth. But the rest of you, you're going to be destroyed, man. First of all, you ain't even looking for mercy from you. How about Shemi Shai? Okay. Nor do you know how to obtain it. So a lot of you think you don't got to do nothing to please the Most High. You, the Most High is just in you. Okay, you wake up in the morning and the Most High is just dwelling with you. You already know the difference between right and wrong. You don't got to get into the scriptures, man. Whatever you feel, whatever you think, that's good. It's, it's innate in you. You niggas out your mind, man. Okay, which is the reason why the Most High just got a cold wipe you out. All right. Ain't nothing else you could do with a people like this, man. A, pe a people that refuse to hearken. A people that refuse to listen and execute the words of the Heavenly Father. You got to wipe them out. It says the beginning of sorrows and great mournings. The beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? We going to trust in Yahweh by Shemi Yahweh Shai. Okay, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you two-thirds, I don't know what you're going to do. All right, maybe you can roll up a, a whole bunch of blunts and see if that's going to save you, man. Or drink a whole bunch of lean and see if that's going to save you. Or you can, you can talk on your money phone and see if that's going to deliver you from the famine, man. It says, behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness. So Jake ain't going to get right anyway. With all this hell that's going to be taking place, Jake's still going to be a damn demon. Which is the reason why the Most High said in Ezekiel the fifth chapter, he's going to increase the famine on you until you get destroyed, man. It says, Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they, they shall think themselves to be in good case. And that's the mindset that these people have right now, man. All right. Even though the price of stuff has been going up, it's not as high as it's going to get. So you think everything's all good. It says, and even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. And Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is just brewing these things all up, man. We're getting ready to reach that boiling point. Okay, and the way things are going right now, everything is going to hit you at once, man. The famine, these diseases that's out here, the economic collapse. Okay. And it's going to be the worst time ever since there was a nation, just like we read in Jeremiah, the 30th chapter, man. You're getting ready to catch pure hell. It says, for many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. And the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them, for the earth shall be wasted and the city shall be cast down. Okay. And these are the times that we're in, man. This, this is what you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans are getting ready to experience. Okay, famine. All right. The ones of you that escaped the famine, you might find food somewhere. You're going to get put to death by the sword. Because the Heavenly Father is gunning for you. You got you, you got a hit out on you. By your how about show me how it was shot. And the Most High has a 100% success rate. You, you can't get away from the Heavenly Father. Okay, well, let's bring this out. We can close out on this. This is Deuteronomy 32 and 39. It says, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no power with me here. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you worshiping all these gods, man. Not understanding that there is one power. There's one entity that's in control of everything. Okay, and the, the, these different gods that you worship, they ain't in control of nothing, man. The only one that is in control is Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And you got a covenant with this God. But you refuse to, you know, have any dealings with them. It says, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Which this is the reason, one of the reasons why you're supposed to hearken to the words of Yahweh Shemi Yahweh Shai. 
you don't listen to you, he's going to put you to death. Okay, and the Heavenly Father is the only entity that has the power to do this. Okay, he's the one that's in control of life and death, not these other guys that you worship. And you're going you're gonna to find this out the hard way, man. Because the only ones that's going to be getting put to death are the ones that are not hearkening to the words of the Heavenly Father. It says, for I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. If I wet my glittering sword and mine hand take hold of judgment, I will render vengeance to my enemies and will reward them that hate me. So the Most High is getting ready to reward all you wicked in individuals out here, man. You Israelites that hate the Heavenly Father, Most High, gonna, he going to get revenge. It says, I will make mine arrows drunk with blood and my sword shall devour flesh. And that with the blood of the slain and of the captives from the beginning of revenges upon the enemy. Yeah, and that's what the Most High getting ready to do, man. He getting ready to take vengeance upon you wicked so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, so get ready, man. All right? Get ready for the hell that you getting ready to experience. Because you did not turn back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, so I just want to go into that. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai willing. It was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bashim Yahweh Hakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. Shalom.